I wanted to make a leather backpack. I really like this idea of a simple drawstring backpack. It really looks cool and it's、um, quite easy to make actually. I also had this idea of adding a zipper to the side seam so that I could have easy access inside the bag while wearing it. For this project, I used leather for the outside, some cotton fabric for the lining, thick cord for straps, and a zipper. I used an A4 paper to cut the pattern for the bottom piece. I measured around the curve so that I could get the right measurement for the front piece. For the back piece, I used an A3 paper. It seemed to be the perfect size. I did the same for the front piece, except the width of the piece is the same as the curve on the bottom piece. After cutting all the leather pieces, I cut the lining pieces from the cotton fabric. I actually could have made the front and the back piece about seven centimeters shorter. I'll show you why later. I needed to shorten the zipper, so I made a new zipper stop using a zigzag stitch. I sewed the zipper in first. After attaching the zipper, I sewed together the rest of the seam. I ironed the piece to get it nice and neat. Just a quick tip: never use steam when ironing leather. Steam can really ruin the finish of the leather. After this, I sewed together the other side seam. I actually shouldn't have sewed it all the way through, and I'll show you what I mean soon. Next, I sewed the bottom piece in place. Cutting some excess out of the corners can make them look nicer. And this is when I realized I'd made a small mistake. I should have attached the loops for the straps in the side seams, but luckily this was an easy fix. I added the minimalist maker logo on the front. After it was finished, I thought I should have made it a bit bigger, but too late to change it now. And here is the other mistake I made with the side seams. I should have left the tops open, but I didn't. So I just added a top stitch next to it and just unpicked the original seam. This seemed to work quite well, but I was left with some small holes in the leather. Oh well, nobody's gonna see it anyway, so I didn't mind that much. 
I wanted to add a small pocket inside the bag, so I cut a piece of leather and attached it to the lining. After this, it was time to sew the lining together. Now, this is where you see me cutting off a piece of the lining, because it was actually too long. The leather is actually going to be folded inside the back, so the lining doesn't have to be that long. After this, it was time to sew the leather and the lining together. Now, because I had the side zipper and the lining had an opening for that, I was able to sew all the way through. But if you don't have that zipper, just to make sure you don't sew all the way through. Otherwise, you can't turn the back right side out. I turned the back right side out, ironed it and then stitched the edge together. After this it was time to insert the straps. I actually pulled the cord through using a sort of hook I made from an old knitting needle. It seemed to work quite well actually. <laughs> I inserted the ends of the cords through the loops that I made. I made a big knot and cut the excess. Now, because I was using synthetic cord, I was able to burn the ends of the cord. This makes the ends neat and keep them from unraveling in the future. To finish the back, I hand stitched the opening in the lining around the zipper. And it's done! So here you can see the finished backpack. I really like the way this bag turned out, and I think I'm gonna use it a lot. As you can see, I can read inside the bag without removing it, but I think it's also easier to maybe take it off from one shoulder and then I can actually see inside the bag. This is really nice, especially if I have something heavy inside the backpack. That way I don't have to hold it on my one hand and then reach inside with my other. It works really well. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. It was great having you here. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!